Struggling on offense in Madden 23? If you're having trouble scoring points, you suck. or just committing too many turnovers, no, God! this is the video for you. In today's video, I'm going to go over 12 cheats, tips, and tricks that give you an instant advantage on offense. So if you want to see how to put up numbers like this, stick around after the intro. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable mutt coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. In today's video, I'm going to be focusing on things you can do on offense that give you an instant advantage and borderline cheat the game. I already put out a defensive video like this, so if you want to see that, I'll have links in the description as well as a pop-up on the screen at the end of the video. Other than that, if you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Let's get right into the video. I'm going to first start off with things you can do before the play even starts. The first tip is something you should be doing every single play, whether running or passing, and that is reading the defense. Every defense has its own strengths and weaknesses, so it's always super helpful to know what defense your opponent is in, so you know where and where not to attack it. I already made an entire video dedicated to this topic, so I'll have a link in the description for that if you want to see me go into more detail. But if you want a quick synopsis on how to read a defense, you can do that simply by looking at the cornerbacks. If they are five yards off the line of scrimmage, it's a cover two zone. If they are eight yards off the line of scrimmage is either a cover three or a cover four or a man coverage. If the quarterbacks are aligned in front of the receiver, it is a man coverage, and if they're aligned wide, it is a zone. That is the quickest way, easiest way to make a read. Certain defenses like cover two man and zone are going to be weak against the run up the middle because the safeties drop back, while certain defenses like cover four quarters and cover four regular are better against the run up the middle because the safeties drop down and play the run. Cover four quarterbacks drop back outside though, making them weak against outside runs, which is the same thing as cover three. If you want to see what routes and concepts beat these defenses in passing, make sure to check out that link in the description. This next tip isn't a cheat, but it's one of the most asked questions about offense in my comment section, and that is how to smart route. Smart routing is designed to make your receiver run his route past the line of scrimmage when you're trying to convert a first down, but it has a lot of uses when it comes to setting up one play touchdowns as well, especially against cover two, man, and zone, and even certain routes become glitchier against man coverages as well. To smart route any receiver, just hit the wire triangle button to bring up the hot route menu, then select the receiver you want to smart route. Then hit the right bumper on Xbox or the R1 button on PlayStation and the route they are running will break at whatever distance is needed to get the first down, whether it's 10 yards or 30 yards. This next tip isn't a cheat either, but based on a lot of comments saying that they throw a lot of interceptions, I think it's something that you need to know, and that's how to throw the ball away. Too many players try to force the ball into bad situations instead of just pushing in the right stick to get rid of the ball safely out of bounds and living to fight another down. You can do this from anywhere on the field, including the end zone, which is something you used to get a penalty for intentional grounding in the past. The next tip is something that you should always look for pre-snap as well, and that's where the user defender is playing. The computer defenders always react the same way and do the same things, but user defenders are much more unpredictable and can have a much larger impact on the play. Knowing this is so valuable that in Mutt there is actually an ability you can buy for your line or quarterback called Identifier that will show you where the user defender is at all times. You don't really need this though as long as you're watching for pre-snap movement. Pay attention to any consistent or excessive movement that a computer can controlled player wouldn't make. This is especially important if your opponent is using a safety as a mistake made in coverage from this position can result in an easy touchdown. Next we'll go over cheat post snap. For this one you will want to continue watching the user after the ball is snapped because in this year's man your opponent's zone assignment will pop up for everyone to see even on the offensive side of the ball. Seeing this is helpful in many ways but the most important is that it can instantly give away the defense. So if you're not good at reading a defense pre-snap or you are not sure if you made the correct read this can really help you once the play starts. It only happens when in zone, so if you don't see anything, you know your opponent is in man coverage. If you do see a pop-up, depending on which position your opponent is using, it can also give away exactly what zone coverage they are in as well. If you see a curl flat zone, you know that they are in a cover 3 or cover 4 because cover 2 doesn't have curl flats. If they are using a safety, it can let you know whether they are in cover 1, cover 2, or cover 4 based on the zone that pops up above them. It's also a good way to measure just how far away they are from the area that they are supposed to be covering, especially when they are supposed to be covering deep as the play arc can show exactly how out of position they are, making it that much easier to decide whether to throw the ball to the area that they're supposed to be. 
Comeback routes are one of the glitchiest routes in the game this year, not because of how they get open as much as what they do to the coverages, especially against cover three and cover four zones. A properly placed comeback route is the key to almost every cover three and cover four one play touchdown or big play as the deep outside cornerbacks are programmed to react to them as long as there isn't a deeper route close to their area. If you want to see more about one-play touchdowns against these type of defenses, I have a ton of them in all of my ebooks, which you can download directly to your phone or laptop. Links in the description below and top pin comment. If you're on current gen or old gen at this point, Cover 3 one-play touchdowns are completely different though, as they react the same way they did at the end of Madden 20, the last game that came out before last gen got abandoned for the next gen development. If you are still playing on current gen, I will show you the secret to glitching out Cover 3 right now, as I have links in my ebook specifically for current gen as well. All you need to glitch out a Cover 3 defense in current gen is a crossing route like this, which can be found in a lot of different plays. I'm going to be showing this from the single back wing pair formation play called the PA tight end scene. This play is also from my Saints offensive ebook, once again link in the description and top in common, but I'm also showing this play because this is very common and can be found in just about every playbook in Madden 23. You have to run this play from a hash mark to the open side of the field, then you just need a streaking receiver that is close to the line of scrimmage, which I will get by motioning in the wide receiver and putting him in on a streak or fade. Once I snap the ball, all I have to do is watch the outside cornerback and wait for him to react to the cross tight end. Once he fades to take away the crossing tight end, he will pass responsibility to the safety who is usually way out of position at this point, and all you have to do is bullet and pass lead away from the safety for an easy touchdown. Next up, man coverage is the meta in Madden 23 online, so I'm going to go over a few cheats to help specifically with this type of defense. The best way to pick up the blitz is by blocking your running back and tight end, but for this to be most effective, you want them both on the opposite sides of one another, so you can have better protection on both sides. So if your formation has them on the same side, simply motion one or the other across the formation to give you the best chance to pick up the blitz. Another good trick against man is bunch formations, which is something EA admitted was an issue in a recent patch update. They are aware that the cornerbacks tend to get in each other's way when trying to cover receivers in a bunch, often resulting in some seriously blown coverage. I've already put out a video with some plays like this as well, which I once again have a link in the description. But for this video, I will show you what happens using the single back bunch play Z option, which is from my Green Bay Packers ebook. All you have to do is put the A route on a curl and the option route will get instantly open as the man coverage corners have a hard time getting around it to cover, resulting in some seriously blown coverages once again. Next up, I'm gonna show you some glitches you can do mid-play. The most important is probably the aggressive catch glitches. You can do it every single play and it can't be stopped by either man or zone defenses. I showed this yesterday in a gameplay video. I've linked in the description for that as well. Any route will do as long as it makes the defender turn to run with the receiver. You can do this with a simple streak. All you have to do is watch the cornerback and wait for him to flip his hips to run with the receiver. Then, right as he does this bullet and pass lead away from the defensive back as defensive backs can't react quickly enough to turn back around and make a play on the ball, resulting in some seriously easy catches or sometimes even worse, a catch and run one play touchdown. You can also swerve catch in this year's game, which gained popularity back in Madden 19 or 20, I'm not really sure, but to do this, all you have to do is once the ball is in the air, once again, click onto the receiver, motion them in so that the computer defender follows and then motion them back out to catch the ball with a face catch. Next up, we're gonna go over a celebration run, which can do way more than just humiliate your opponent. If at any point in time, any player you're controlling, whether on offense or defense, runs out of stamina and starts to slow down, you can use the celebration function by holding both triggers and the A button on Xbox or the L2, R2 buttons and X on PlayStation. This will trigger a celebration run, which is usually faster than a fatigued running animation, depending on which one you get, which is completely random. But a lot of times it'll be almost as fast as sprinting. You have to be careful though when choosing to do this because getting hit while doing this will most likely result in a fumble. So if a defender is in the area or too close stop doing it before you get tackled. So that's it, that's the video. If you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, I already made a video on the defensive cheats just like this, and I will have a video of that popping up on screen. So if you guys want to see that, just check that out by clicking the link on the screen. Until next time, thanks for watching, man. Wish it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.